could challenge. And so far, again, we haven't missed even a single day. For all those who tried searching for daily lead code problems uh, on Coding Decoded channel, would have got the solutions. And for all those who didn't, please guys, ek bar check out Karliya Karo. You'll definitely find the solution. If it is not there, then I'm there to create the video up, as happened today. After a very long time, I'm creating the video and I'm super excited about it. The question that we have in today is construct string from binary tree. So the in this question, we are given a binary tree and we need to create one string containing parenthesis and integer values from the binary tree such that the elements in the binary tree are traversed in pre-order fashion. And we need to return that string up. So here they have provided us as an example. So if you carefully observe, then this is a tree that is given to us and the output of this tree should be the traversal in a pre-order fashion. When I say pre-order fashion, what does it signify? It signifies info left right i l r so let's walk through an example here we are at one and so one came up then we'll be moving towards the left child and as soon as we are moving towards the left child we should create a parenthesis and this is what we have created so this contributes to the left child and this contributes to the right child and if you carefully observe then we have recursively done the same thing over here as well i'll be talking more about it why the presentation even before jumping on to this I want to tell you two test cases that I could think of that makes this problem slightly more difficult. The first test case is this one. So let's write one three null. So let me just run this code. And the output of this is something like this. So let me just open the tree visualizer and this is the tree that is given to us. We have the root of the tree as one. We have only one element in it, which is a left child of that root and the value here is three. So this is the tree and its output turns out to be something like this. So the null value is absolutely ignored over here. We have the output as one bracket <coughs> followed by three closing bracket. And let's walk through another test case. We have the elements as one null followed by three and this time uh, the left child is null, however, the right child has an element 3 over here. So let's run this up. And the output turns something like this. The first element that we have is 1, followed by an opening bracket and a closing bracket. This element signifies null leaf node, which is the left child. So this is very important that in whenever we see a node which has its left child as null however the right child is present we have to appropriately build the response taking care that null values are entertained and as i talked about in the question itself uh, there are two test cases that we need to think of uh, the first one is this one when you have the root of the tree and it only has the right child this is what is the expected response and when you have the root of the tree something like this and it doesn't have the left child which is this one so this should be the expected response remember here we have explicitly mentioned that the left child is null uh, by adding an empty parenthesis there is no value inside it so this is a takeaway remember these two things and then the rest of the problem is very simple and straightforward so what we are going to do we'll need to iterate in the pre-order fashion so let's start from the root and we see the root uh, it has value one so the string gets updated to one now what we will be doing we will be moving towards the left direction remember as you are moving towards the left direction what should be the first step start an opening bracket so you start an opening bracket and now two will be acting as our current root again so we see the root value as two we are going to append it up so two gets added onto the string again what do we see we see that we have a left child present. So since we are moving in the left or pre-order fashion, so let me just write the formula for it. Info left right. So we'll be applying this over all the nodes. Since it has a left node, we will be moving towards the leftmost direction. As we are moving towards the leftmost direction, what should we do be doing? We should be creating an opening bracket. And we have created the opening bracket. Now the current node under consideration becomes this one, which is four. So let's add four over here. And as soon as you reach this particular node, what do you see? You see that you have reached the leaf node. You abort the process there and then itself. And this completes the left traversal across this path. Now we will be moving backwards. So let's move backwards. 
now what do we see we see that a 2 doesn't have a right child it is null so whenever you see such a case the, then the null value should not be appended in the final result remember this test case so remember null value should not be added in the final result now let's move ahead and uh, since we are moving backwards what we are doing we will be closing this bracket up so we are we are moving backwards and we are closing this bracket up again since we have moved two times backwards so we should be adding two brackets up two closing brackets up as soon as we move backwards don't forget to add the closing bracket now what we will be doing we will be moving towards the right child of the root which is 1 so we have successfully iterated over these two nodes info and left with respect to root being uh, the node under consideration and it's time to iterate towards its right child since you are iterating towards its right child what you should be doing you should be creating an opening bracket so opening bracket gets added and now the element under consideration happens to be 3 so since we have 3 we will be adding to the um, string and 3 gets added and what do you see you see that this is also a leaf node as soon as you see a leaf node you have to avoid the process and return back so you return back use the closing bracket and now you are done so we have successfully completed the entire iteration and this is the string that we have generated this is in sync with our expectation and now let's quickly move on to the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have just talked over here the first thing that i have done is here is to create a string builder object and then i have created a helper method that accepts two parameters the current node under consideration and your string builder which will help you build the entire string i haven't used string class because strings are immutable and this will help us in better space complexity so let's proceed ahead and let's walk through the core algorithm if my current node happens to be null i abort the process if uh, if it is not null that means i'm at line number 30 and i add it to my current string and moving ahead i check if i have reached the terminal state what is the terminal state i am at the leaf node if my current node happens to be the leaf node it doesn't make any sense to move further beyond and i return back from there and then itself at line number 35 what do i do i check if my current dot left has any non null value that means it has a, the left child if it has the left child i simply create an opening bracket append it to my str string I move in a pre-order fashion and I pass in current dot left comma str and once I am done with this I append a closing bracket afterwards and I do a similar kind of thing for my right child as well. There is one corner case that we should think of while uh, uh, building the complete algorithm is when we are in the right child we should always check if current dot left is null or not. In case it is null then we should be appending an empty complete opening and closing bracket onto it. So this is an important statement, people often tend to miss this out and that was the reason I talked about this particular case at the start of the question. So let's time uh, to submit the solution. The time complexity of this approach is order of n. The space complexity of this approach happens to be log n. Uh, why it is order of n? Because you are traversing each and every node only once and why space complexity is log n? Because you are using a recursive uh, algorithm and in those recursive algorithm the maximum uh, depth that would be built would be equal to the height of the binary tree I think this answers all the question that the interviewer may ask and with this let's wrap up today's session I hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye